Okay, we are recording this session and you have sent some message to me. Right. Uh, C is that the summarized spoken text. If I write it down like this way, they gave money, um, give me a uh, score like this and you can see also the essay. Actually, you know, these all are third party applications. They will give yeah. you marks. They will give you marks. But Pearson is different. Pearson is basically uh, the software, the AI of Pearson is rather more sophisticated. I will not say it's advanced. Yeah. It's sophisticated more than what third party applications are providing, be it any third party, be it App Uni, be it Language Academy, or any third party. They are all uh, applications, third party applications, right? So they will not be like clearly representing. They like, for example, if you get 50 in uh, these third party, you will be getting plus minus. 50. Either you will be scoring 45 or either you will be scoring 55. So if your aim is 50, you should at least practice for 60. So because you will be making some mistakes, you will be making some mistakes and the AI will be deducting some marks. So if uh, so, you will have enough space to be in the winning, uh, to get winning scores. But if you aim or you practice just for 50, then definitely you will fall in the uh, somewhere near 40 or 45. Right. Okay. And secondly, uh, 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 you have to understand the Pearson. Uh, before, it used to be very easy. People used to go and just say anything and they used to get mass. With the passage of time, it's becoming more sophisticated. Uh, later on, people used to write keywords and they used to score. But now even the keywords don't work. Because... Take an yeah. example. If I give you an example, you have a WhatsApp, right? And you see yeah. that uh, WhatsApp has introduced an uh, AI. If you go and message there and just say, uh, what is Apple? So AI will write a complete essay solely about Apple. All the vocabulary that will be in the uh, essay will be based on uh, relevant to Apple only, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So now the, now the essay that you're showing me, for example, uh, what was the topic that you got in the exam? Uh, that one, no. huh? Cl uh, climate change. Okay, climate uh, Now you tell me uh, when AI writes the essay, do they write keywords or do they write a line, a phrase, a sentence? I actually need to be, I think, use this phrase or sentence. You can't only use in keyword. Exactly, because the essay needs to write something in detail. That's why they've written extended writing. And keyword yeah. is not extended writing. So you have to write a line. Now, I agree that the essay itself has 200 or 300 words, but the vocabulary over there is not relevant to climate change. The essay that you showed me, does it have <laughs> any word, any single word which is relevant to climate change? No, right? not a single sentence. So you have to write sentences rather than writing keywords. And even writing keywords is difficult because you have to have a lot of vocabulary. But writing a sentence yeah. is easy, like climate change is uh, deteriorating year by year. So it's easy to write rather than thinking of keywords. Wow. That's the problem. Okay, now you tell me when you wrote, now this is something that I told you, I said. If you talk about listening part, uh, can you tell me how did you write the retail lecture? Retail lecture. The retail lecture is depend on the, the topic, you know. Okay. So, um, so what, how did how did you attempt it? Naturally, but I attended last uh, two times is two different. We have, I seen in extended speaking, they gave me full marks. I actually used to, the one is like I choose a big keyword or I can, this lecture mainly talk about this. And then this is this the crucial element in our community. So the public must be aware of the significance of another keyword. Therefore, yeah. it can be said, the yeah. overall correlation between this and that should not be done under any side. Then I also add um, the, uh, the lecture also highlighted significant information about like you have some phrase, uh, phrase like a uh, um, language or like modern world or online something. They also mentioned some significant information about this. 
that the yes, way I took you, love. You are right that you got, or you didn't get full marks in uh, speaking. Even I didn't. I got 87. It's fine. But, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I I think speaking like... is lacking somewhere. Because if you look, let me share the screen with you. Let me explain you the blue lines first. Then you will get an idea what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, let's look at your uh, uh, blue lines. Let's go okay. one more. Now, reproducing spoken and written languages. Reproduce yeah. is something that you have to say it again. So, read a lecture and summarize spoken text is that you, you reproduce the stuff that the, uh, the exam, question is giving you, the exam is giving you. That is like, uh, like for example, if you start from the beginning, it is right, uh, repeat sentences, read a lecture, right? Describe mm -hmm. image. This is something that you have to reproduce and uh, uh, write from dictation, summarize spoken text that the person says something and you have to reproduce it. So here you are, you are like almost half, right? That means you, if you speak keywords, you are giving the half content. If you write some phrases, you are giving them the complete content because you have to reproduce this. Like if I say, mm -hmm. repeat after me, what is my name? You will say, what is my name? You will not say name or you will not say what name. You will say, what is my name? So that means mm -hmm. you have to reproduce something, right? So if you write the keywords, you are not reproducing the way the person is speaking. The, the, the examiner, uh, the question is asking you to reproduce the content that the question mm -hmm. gave you and you are unable to give it back to the AI. So definitely AI scored you half the uh, based on the keywords that you gave it, right? Okay. Second, then there is a, a extended writing. Now here again, the essay. So essay, you have to write phrases, right? Then there is short yeah. writing. The short writing, what I think is summarized spoken, uh, summarized written text. So how yeah. did you write? Uh, how did it go? Are you confident that it went well? Summarized written text. Mm -hmm. Summarized, um, uh, uh, as usually, uh, I try to get uh, to independent sentence, which is uh, more relevant to that topic and based on like a uh, uh, summary. So I get to those two and uh, uh, sometimes I add uh, uh, and and sometimes I like uh, like a little bit this and this and that uh, I but and therefore or more about a joint period two or three sentences around more than fifty words. So did you use so, the word there, there, therefore? It's uh, and. You you used the word therefore. Yeah, I use therefore is a third. It's sentence. a wrong. It's a wrong strategy because the uh, in some nice uh, written text you have to write just one sentence. There should be just one full stop or one period. The, yeah, the, the, the technique to, for using therefore is that it should come, the sentence should end in a full stop. Then the therefore should start with a capital T. And then after therefore, you have to write a comma. People usually don't see this this way that therefore, furthermore, moreover, uh, basically cannot be used uh, after a comma because you are trying to give another point. So once you complete a full sentence, then you st try to give another point. So therefore comes after full stop and you cannot write a, therefore, then, then you should have two full stops. Because before therefore, you should, you should have full stop. So this is grammatically wrong. It's just simple. Take two sentences and take three sentences. Take one sentence, put a comma. Take another sentence, put a comma. Put an end and take a third sentence and full stop. That's it. Furthermore, firstly, right. so firstly it's, it's a wrong technique because these words so you, need to come after a full stop. Huh? So, so you mean I should take one sentence, then comma, another uh -huh. sentence, then comma, and then full stop another sentence. Not full stop. Third sentence, then full stop. Yeah, third sentence, two comma, and then full stop. Yes, exactly. And uh, how many words did you write? Um, more than 50 oh, and wow. less than um, more than 50 around 56 57 or 60 it's it's less now you should have at least gone for 65 and 70 because see if you give a full plate to to the examiner they might yeah. eat uh, from their own choice so if uh, yeah. you are writing less content they are giving you less money just give me a minute someone is at the door just one minute oh. i'll be back i just need to Thank you.
Okay, now coming back to where okay. you sorry, you, sorry, yes. sister. I send in, I send in to you one uh, screen. You can check in inbox. Uh, what what I, I my, send? Uh, yeah, but it's for a extended speaking section. I got full marks. You sure yes, you yes, can you see? Got, yes, you got full marks. Because but see, how I get this, this full mark and why they give me full marks because I am using same method. Okay, let me tell you. You know these these modules are interconnected. For speaking, you have to be provide your pronunciation should be right, your content should be right, and you uh your you should not be fumble and you should uh should your speech should be right. So if you provide all these content uh all these uh, aspects, you get marks in speaking. But, right. but but there is a but also because for uh, listening you uh, if you are not providing enough content then the ai thinks that you are unable to understand you are bad at listening this is what they think okay even if i go with your point even if we deduct retail lecture from the this part you didn't maybe you were not good with summarized uh, spoken text we will come to it how did you attempt to summarize spoken text Right. Can I tell you the truth? Can I tell you the truth? In the whole lecture, when the, I heard the lecture from audio, mm. just I put it like, uh, for example, he talked about uh, uh, internet. For example, internet or um, um, social media around like this topic and modern science like this topic. I pick only, like, for example, they're talking about social media. I could I write it down social media and then talk also is um, um the breakdown the barrier of the world now interconnected so i also uh take some of uh, um, uh, key points from this and then i make the whole thing i am uh, i'm telling right now how i use them for example social media could be a crucial element in our community so the public must be aware of the significance of online use for example I, uh, how I mean it. Um, therefore, it can be said that the overall correlation between social media and modern life should not be ignored under any circumstances. The lecture also highlighted significant information about like um, social media, um, the impact of social media, our society, and this in this. And then I say overall the lecture was very informative or uh, significant or whatever. So, how, so I used this one last time I got full marks. Hmm. So no, okay, fine. Uh, the summarized spoken text doesn't include in speaking part. It's included in listening, and uh, it gives you some points for listening and some points. Are you aware of the breakdown? What? Are you aware of the breakdown of the exam? I didn't get you. Are you aware of the break? Uh, breakdown. 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 Hmm. How what? the exam is marked and how it is. Let me show you a, a table first. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, overall I got little uh, knowledge about how they mark uh, uh, marking criteria. Uh, I know that because that, that's uh, the I, issue. you should have had a uh, complete knowledge that how actually it is marked or how actually it is analyzed or how actually it is calculated or judged. You must have seen people uh, taking in an average that okay, I got. This is this, this marks, and if I take an average, I should be getting this much. But they don't For get. For example, ma'am, let me uh, explain a little bit. Sorry, I'm in. For example, read aloud. As far as my knowledge, I know read aloud marks should be go on uh, reading, and uh, uh, read aloud should be go on reading. Yeah, isn't it? Reading also, yes. Yeah. 
and your um, um, also like uh, repeat sentence repeat sentence listening and speaking yes okay uh -huh. fine but how much is the proportion yeah I, 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 yeah I, I, I know some of them but exactly I can't say right now I've seen in that table because, there are some... because if you say that you have done this 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 then why you were not able to score in reproduce? This is the problem. That's why I don't understand why not. Even, uh, even some of my friends, uh, they got 60, 63. And they said they use the same, same method. They, when I talked to them, they said, oh, you can make it very easily. Because I don't know why you, when seated for exam, you doesn't get enough marks. We don't understand. Maybe you're doing... But even they don't know how, how where I do mistake. To be honest, because... Uh, uh, I know I don't have any idea about reading section, but you still I can guess the reading section. I can yeah. guess collocation. Yeah. So, that, that was um, quite as astonishing that uh, I saw that you go, were able to score in reading. People usually uh, lake in uh, reading part. Right. No, no. Uh, but, so, but, see, see, this is the breakdown. Now, if you, if you talk, when I say you are doing something in read a lecture you get 10 percent in uh speaking and uh nine percent in yes, listening yes, right? right okay right. so back to Kailan. okay now a reproduce is also summarized spoken text it gives you six percent in uh, writing and six percent in listening right and yeah. so maybe uh the thing that and what were you putting punctuating it properly did you punctuate it properly I I use uh, normally uh, many times I try many different way. Because My if, highest uh, if if you Google writing, this thing now, if you Google this thing, if you Google these terms, the term is reproducing yeah. spoken and written language. Now, if let me Google it and see what it means, reproducing. And you didn't show me the. There is still some part missing. There is one more, reproducing. Which one? Uh, it should be uh, above reproducing. It should be repeat something. Reproduce spoken. Repeat, repeat sentence. Uh, I got uh, lots of uh, screenshot from Epi Uni. You know, I get from Epi Uni. I show you. <laughs> Now, see if you look at the screen, can you see? I've Googled what is reproducing spoken and written language in PT. It says reproducing spoken and written language, repeating or copying spoken or written information. That is extended writing, giving a long written response. So the response has to be long. So when you are doing the summarized spoken text and summarized written text, and read your lectures, maybe you were not providing extended uh, stuff. See, it means extended writing or giving a long written response, right? So when you were writing uh, summarized written text and summarized spoken text, they, they both need to be written, right? Summarized spoken text is basically included in spoken uh, speaking section, but uh, sorry, in listening section, but the writer is uh, speaker is speaking and you have to write it. So maybe uh, you didn't provide enough in writing. You're saying that uh, you wrote just 50 to 60 words. You should have aimed for 70 words or at least 65 words. Do I still have you? Yes. Do, I, do I still have you? Uh, you are there, right? Hello? Hello? Okay, hello? Yes, okay. So do you understand the, the first term that... Yes, 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 I understand. But I, oh, is that very much true? I done, I, 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 I finished my study life around 20 years ago, you know? 20 years ago, it's 2000. Oh, I finished my study and from last, are you hearing me? Yes, yes. Yeah, last 20 years, 
I am out of study or any kind of study. I out of I just working and uh, um that's that's the way. Just uh, I need to get my PR from Australia. Yeah, I live with my family. Uh, somehow I need to make fifty each because you know uh, I many tricks and tips and what's the best easy way how I can get 60 that's a uh, 50 each in my target then finish all the uh, story you know I am very weak because you know I've done my study 20 years and I'm not a student you know so, so um, what's the best technique and tricks for me if you provide then I can sit it for exam now yeah, so uh, you you need to have at least feedback on uh, in the even the mocks that you are doing. So that's why I sh uh, said share your uh, mocks. Yeah, I want to uh, see I didn't take mocks. To be honest, I didn't take any mocks. Um, that's, I that's, take, that, that's wrong. I, that's wrong some strategy. Of them section wise, I got some of them section wise. No, 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 no. That that is wrong. That is wrong. Strategy. You have at least done. See. The trick is you do mocks, keep doing it. Yes. Like uh, if, for example, if I needed 79, I gave a mock and I scored 60. I know I'm very far away from my target. I kept giving exam, keeping in mind the goal that I in each mock I have to at least improve by two points. Like for 60, then I have moved to 62 and then 64 but, and then 66, stuff like that. So I'm going to reach, but, reach but, your goal. That is 50 and not just once in like three, four, five marks. If you are able to score your desired uh, score, then you should go for exam. Then you should book your exam. Otherwise, uh, you but sister, uh, from my little experience, as far as my knowledge, I can realize that if you practice more and more, more that uh, you are lucky, you can get hits them easily. But it's never any question comes repeated. I never face like this. Oh, I got, I heard this. Uh, it's not um, about repeating of questions. It is about you get accustomed to different varieties of questions. This get, is, the, the, that's the true, that's the true. So, yes. you know, I, I, it's very difficult to, I told you uh, before, from now, it's very difficult to memorize any kind of templates or anything. You don't need to me. memorize any template. That's the thing. Because you don't need to memorize any template. I didn't memorize. I'm very bad at memorizing anything. It's just because you know. It's just that you. It's just that you have to give the content that the AI is asking for. That's why you got less marks in reproducing. You were not able to reproduce what the AI is asking for. It's, they don't yeah. ask for templates because the. See, if there is a question, the AI has an answer for it. And the AI hmm. doesn't have your template saved. <laughs> they don't have your templates with them. They have just... But now, nowadays, not only I am facing this type of problems, every student is now facing this type of problems because uh, um, uh, so far I know that is, uh, you know, for, for Pearson, uh, Pearson uh, taking all of those... Um, uh, no, 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 um, it's, 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 it's just a story. It's just a story. Even I used template for essay. It's, it's the way how, see, if I ask you, tell me about yourself. Okay, simple example. If I ask you, tell me about yourself. Will you read the template to me? Or will you tell me about yourself based on your own? Yeah, <laughs> about yourself, myself based. Myself, what right? Is true about right. Me. Exactly. Now, if the yeah. if the if the essay is asking you write climate change and you write the content which is in the template, it is irrelevant. In describe image, if they if in retail lecture, if the person is saying something and you're trying yeah. to incorporate the template, you are not giving the answer that the AI is asking for. Okay. If you go for summarized written text and uh, a summarized spoken text. The person is speaking, saying something, and you're um, trying to uh, your best to uh, write the template. You are not giving the relevant. That's why you got half marks. The AI was generous enough to give you a. Uh, can you follow the cursor? The AI was generous enough to give you half marks because half of the content is your template, and half of it is the content that is actually needed by AI. 
Okay. Right. Same is the case with extended writing. You gave the half content. The half is just a template. Okay. Then again, short writing. Short writing, you said you wrote therefore and everything. So maybe they cut your marks for the grammar because therefore doesn't come in between a sentence. Okay, we have just 10 minutes left. Uh, and uh, then short speaking. So short speaking, maybe uh, you were not able to uh, do good in your uh, uh, repeat sentences or uh, answer short questions. It, it is easy. Mm -hmm. Then there is multiple skills comprehensions. So maybe you did mistakes in fill in the blanks listening. Because you got less marks in fill in the blanks listening, uh, listening and writing. So fill in the blanks listening gives you marks in listening and writing. So maybe you did some wrong there. Maybe you made some spelling mistakes over there. Then there is a single comprehension. So maybe you did some something wrong in a fill in the blanks. Uh, yeah. uh, and single comprehensions like uh, highlight correct summary or uh, 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 single missing word or multiple choice, uh, mul uh, single you were doing something wrong because people usually say that these questions don't matter but i but, <laughs> sister i tell you something so from my exam my last um, once um, uh, last um, i took already three times one we uh, say from first time when i uh, participate the exam in the um, listening fill in the blank and fill in the blank listening and write, uh, writing i even didn't touch any of them, all blank was blank because I was absent mind. I don't know how to pass all of those. Anyway, but I got 49 that time. But this time I correction five of them. It's very easy, was very easy, but I get less mark in writing. Uh, that is, uh, I will suggest you that before even taking any coaching, you should give four to five. But, 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 but all, all, uh, all teachers said, if you can do repeat sentence good, read aloud good, Fill in the blank, summarize the spoken text right from dictation. If you can do very good, more than 50% um, uh, in all of five or six sections, you will be part of a get 70. But um, almost I touched them, but it's not even in 50. As I said, if you if see, if you give a paper of 100%, you will, you will get 90 marks because you will be doing some mistakes and AI will deduct some marks. If you give a paper of 90, you will get 80. If you attempt... 70% of the paper, you will get 60. If you attempt 60% of the paper, you will get 50. So you should do your best. You should try to attempt the whole paper as good as possible because you are paying for it and you are sitting through it. Like people say, okay, these questions matter and these questions don't matter. But the stuff is, if we even add up these 1%, there is 1, 2, 3%, 4, 5, 6 questions which are a 1%. So if you if you attempt it, you will get six marks. If you don't, you will lose six marks. And the questions that you attempt, you it's you're not guaranteed that you will get hundred percent. So give them the AI. Yeah, you are right. If you task even one single marks, it will be come with you. That's that's why that's the good technique. Yeah, if, if you can uh, give one um, single answer. That's fine. You will get one marks. It's okay, exactly. but exactly. Uh, you know, I, I I want to try to explain about my situation. I am full time worker. I have no time to for everybody, study. Everybody is full time. I am I am teaching at a university. I am an assistant professor, and I was able to score eighty because this is your goal. You have to achieve it. This is your goal. You have to uh, take out the. I, I wasn't doing it like in a one sitting. I used to do one questions. Uh, like, for example, if I'm taking a class before the students arrive, I used to do one question. Then I used to keep it on hold. Then in break, I used to practice a few more questions. Then after a while, they are, uh, while I'm traveling to work or I'm, when I, while I'm commuting, I used to practice some questions. Or while we have a meeting, I used to pay less uh, attention to the meeting and you used to do, like cell phone. You have your cell phone with you. You carry it around and you can practice while on a go. But you have to <laughs> your goal. You can. There is no other excuse. This is your goal. You have to be part. Oh, you yeah, have to but, spend uh, the time <laughs> on your schedule. No, it's okay. You were telling me too. That's the, I agree with you hundred percent. But uh, you know, actually, I have not that much. You know, because it's so much for practice. Because they are not trying to know how good your English is in just two hours. They cannot judge you. 
So it's just about tips and strategies. And my sisterly advice, please try to give uh, at least five mocks and try to judge yourself where you're doing wrong. Because you didn't give any mock. So you don't have the exam. If you're not giving any mocks or... I, I, uh, I did, but, but I didn't give any mock, but all the time I got 44, 46, 49, 47, That's bad, 46, nah. 46. That's bad because your aim is 50. And AI is more sophisticated than these third parties. So third party application. So you should have aimed for at least 60. So you, you could have scored 50. Right. So like keep, your, keep your kid in mind. Will you, you will say to your kid, okay, just go for 50. You will say, do your 100%. Do your best. But uh, still, I am I'm struggling for uh, 50. I, as far as my knowledge, my three, four, five, six friends, uh, then, it to, then it's, then it's 65. Them. No, no, because then it's 65, but they all the time get 63, 62, 63, 62. I don't know. AI person, how they understand is your target score, and they even don't give your target score is a one or two. They give you, but is a later. I think they are struggling also. When they aim 65, they're getting 61, 62, 62. I'm targeting 50, I'm getting 49, 48, 49, 48. I don't know uh, how they are knows that uh, my target is 50. But because you yourself are like attempting 50% of the paper, no? you're not attempting the full. Deep. Be honest, did you attempt the whole paper? Did you attempt the whole exam? Did you attempt all the questions with the same dedication and sincerity? Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know? So, you, again, go for at least one or two mocks. Give a sitting. It's not able to give sit through it uh, in a, one sitting. You can do it in uh, sections. Like I used to do two, three questions of speaking, then I used to go and take a class. You can stop it there. Like if you simply close, click on this close button, it will be saved there. Okay. So two, three, four questions. Right. You can take, like you can complete one mock in two, three days. It's fine. It's okay. I used to do the same. Like I, I used to do three questions, then I used to go and have lunch. Then I used to come back and start it from where I left. But one thing I like to discuss with you, in 2021, 2021, it was my first PT test. When I participated, I seated for first PTE exam. I don't understand even 20% of this exam idea, but I got that time 50 to 50. Then Reading 50, it was easy. Then it was easy. It, the AI was not that sophisticated. Idea. Hmm? Nowadays, they are making this very hard. Um, not very hard. The uh, the system needs the requirement has changed. Like first the keyword used to work. Now the keywords don't work. Now you have to give phrases. But uh, language academy, one of instructor, she said to me, she said to me, Pearson collected all these templates and all these instrument from internet. Those are not working anymore. You need to that, use. Print. Yes. So, so why are you uh, disabling yourself on trusting templates? Don't trust templates. Do your own work. Do your. If you replace the phrases of the template with your own phrases, then you are not uh, going to fail. Like what I did was, but, I did get templates, but I didn't do that. But. But own phrases making is not easy. You need to concentrate many of them things, grammatical or vocabulary. You need to oh, make simple, no, no, no. complex see, sentence, see, many see, more things. Listen, reproducing. You should become a master of English. We are not English student. We are Bengali, you know, Bangladesh. English is not Pakistan. about language. I am Pakistan from Pakistan. See, reproduce the person, the, the thing that the person is saying, you have to say it's the same thing. You have to write the same thing. Then you don't need any grammar. You just have to like, okay. copy paste it. Like a Maybe our time is almost uh, finished. Yes. Can you send me any kind of, um, from those uh, all of this topic, can you send me any any one topic, for example, like summarize is spoken text. Send me anything I use and see how much I got. That's what I'm saying now. You send me your uh, mocks, whatever your broken ones you have done. Just show okay, okay. I'll send, I'll send it yeah. to you. No worries. I'll send it to you. I, I try to find out them from uh, 
you know apps to go apps uh, you know uh, so i can tell you that where you are doing wrong so you, uh, uh, you only need feedback you need feedback uh, on your work yes i understand if you can see my scorecard then you yeah. can react so from the scorecard you cannot tell i want to see how you are attempting the question 